uh, great to have all of you along. Great to have a group of great uh, young people here this morning. Let's see, Brian Probert. The Probert brothers are in on this deal together. Yes, you're, sir. You're in what grade, Brian? I'm in eighth grade. You're in eighth. Uh, the younger brother ends up as CEO of this company. Would you explain how you won that, that title from your brother? Well, at the beginning, um, before the six weeks started of the competition, we had an election on our officers, which are most of these people here, and I was voted CEO of the team by the, all the students. Very good. Now, I want everybody, starting with the young lady over on the far end, to kind of uh, pass that microphone up there. I want you all to introduce yourselves. And you are? Kaylin Blessing. And Kaylin, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Enjoyed this experience? Yes, sir. Okay, down the line we go. Next, you are? Hope Watkins. Okay, Hope. Uh, what grade? Seventh. Seventh. Then we have? Veronica King. And you're in what grade? Seventh. Seventh. Young man? Jackson Weavers. And? Eighth. Eighth grade. We have another eighth grader here. Mary Morris. Macy Morris. Macy Morris. <laughs> reading all writing, right? Uh, Macy Morris, eighth grader. Now, there is some competition coming up tomorrow at Wallace College. It's not just the competition on Saturday at the Dothan Civic Center, but uh, let's go to the CEO of the company. Brian, tell us what happens at uh, Wallace College tomorrow. Well, for each team, we need to make a marketing presentation on our team and robot. And so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. We got a few of us here that are going to that. And it's, ba it's basically like any company presentation of a new product or idea. And we'll just go in front of some judges and do our presentation. Okay. Now, speaking of presentation, who is going to, and Geraldine, you start getting ready to get a shot of, uh, uh, come back to the wide shot, Rick. Here we go. We have our product down here because when we say we're going to play with robots, everybody says, well, where is the robot? Well, the robot is just a minor to me after hearing what all you've already turned in a notebook and there's a lot of things that you've already done. you got the competition at Wallace College tomorrow. But Saturday, I guess uh, the, the, everything will be discussed at the Civic Center and the robots will be in place. Now, who is going to be the spokesman for the company? that tries to sell me, tell me what this product is all about. Okay, all right, we'll go back to Bradley, who was with us along with us a few minutes ago. Tell me all about your product, Bradley. Well, what the robot is designed to do is to act and imitate like a space elevator. Okay. As you see right here, it's sitting on a stand because the robot doesn't move on the ground. It has to move up a pole. This pole, you can kind of see right here in the back, it's just a cut-off version of the actual playing field, and we just made a simple stand for it. So what the space elevator has to do is transport a habitation module, which is to imitate what the people would stay in as they're in space, and then also has to transport fuel bottles and cargo balls, which is the food and all the supplies they need while they're in space. All right. And you have all of this that the notebook has already been turned into. You'll make this sales presentation, and uh, the thing is to try to get someone to invest in your company, right? Yes, sir, it is. All right. How much is this going to cost me to invest in this company? Oh, here we got some action. <laughs> Tell us what's going on. Well, right now, you can see the arm is swinging left to right as it would be on the pole. We're not going to move it up and down the pole because we don't want it to fall off. Right. And the way it moves up and down the pole is by a pulley and a string mounted at the top of the playing field. That way it can pull itself up. It doesn't actually roll on the pole. And then that's the hand it's, that moves up and down. When you grab certain items, the way they're placed on the playing field, you have to kind of manipulate the hand to be able to place them in that certain spot because the arm either won't turn all the way or it can't go all the way far out enough. All right, now I gotta ask you this question. Uh, this is uh, kind of off the sales pitch, but 
There's not a kit y'all went out and bought this to put this together, is there? No, sir. All they did was give us some plywood, a couple motors, and that's about it. Then you came up with the rest? Yes, sir. The whole team did. The whole team came up with the rest. Geraldine, you want to try to compete with them on anything? I didn't think so. Uh, Lee, brain is too old and untrainable at our age for this. That is great. I'm talking about uh, a lot of a, a lot of thought went into this deal. Uh, how many different? All right, I, yeah, do that little demonstration there. We don't want you to tear this thing up because we want it in good shape for y'all to compete with on Saturday, but you've got the up and down motion of those, uh, then you open, open the thing up, uh, there we go, and then close it, will clamp down on the, on the different products that need to be moved, then you've got the arm that extends out so many inches, how many different functions, I guess is the question I'm looking for, does this, this uh, robot do? There's one, two, three, four, three. five. I, I've got six already, right? And then it also has to move up and down the pole, so that's two more. So that's eight? Yes, sir. Uh, there we go. The hand, the way it was designed, is supposed to act just like your wrist, the way it moves. That is amazing. Y'all have done a great job. Now... Uh, let's let's run over to the other members of the of the group. Uh, the CEO, how much is it going to cost me if I if I buy this model and, and I need this for my space program? How much is it going to cost me per unit to buy this? Well, you can make a down payment of about three thousand dollars. Huh? In cash too. Oh, of course, in cash. <laughs> Uh, 3000 in cash, and then what? There are several other payments after that. I would imagine so. <laughs> Which I think you'd like to look at on paper. Yes, I would. Uh, but that, you've got all of this worked out, every aspect uh, from uh, the product, what it does, to how much it will cost, to how much it will cost me to operate. And you make these presentations, Tomorrow will be a big part of it, correct? It's a huge part. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, now go over again what you'll be doing at Wallace College tomorrow. Now, this what? is not open to the public. This is just no. this is just the 13 teams will be doing it. Uh, we're presenting our robot and our team in front of a group of judges, like on a PowerPoint. Okay. Sort of like any company would present a new product or idea. And um, we're also going to take our, I don't think we're taking our robot there. But we, we're going to take our notebook and scrapbook and show them that as well. So really, probably the first time the judges, whoever they may be, will see these products for the first time on Saturday, yeah. correct? Yes, sir. They'll be brought in on Saturday, and it'll be like they'll see the ideas on paper tomorrow. Right. You've already got the notebooks turned in. This is an interest, uh, you know, it's interesting process. Uh, has it made you, uh, we know what, what it's got your brother thinking about as far as engineering goes, what has it uh, made you think about as far as your future is concerned? I'm, I'm sort of looking into the same thing, but I haven't really gone too much into that since I'm only in eighth grade, really, and there's, I'm still exploring. But you I think four years something before like you get this. out of high school. you got plenty of time, and so yes, you've, got, you've got him that's going to be ahead of you, you know, and if there's something that you find out that he didn't like, or you can always lean on him a little bit for advice, right? Yes, sir. What about the rest of y'all? Is, is this caught the interest of any of you as far as uh, plans for your future? You know, we got a lot of seventh and eighth graders here. Is this kind of made you think about what you want to do in the future? Yes, sir. I'm on the marketing team, and I like how we get to design the T-shirts and do the marketing presentation. Very good. And you, young lady, you've got something on your mind. It's the same thing that was on her mind. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Marketing. What about you? Well, since this is an all-rounded program, it really helps with basically almost anything in the business or the engineering side. So this has helped with more than two or three um, different careers. 
which I'm still trying to decide which one I want. Well, you got you've got plenty of time, and just uh, you know, five years down the line, that might be a whole different marketplace. Uh, young lady on the end, I want her to, to kind of chime in. What what has it made you look look at as far as your education? Marketing, basically. Marketing. We got a lot of a lot of folks from Wicksburg School who will be looking into marketing, and you, young lady, that has had the job of holding the microphone, Macy. Uh, well, I'd like to go in something biomedical engineer, something like that, because I'm the vice president of the engineering and manufacturing. So I've I've helped design and uh, manufacture the robot, and it's really made me uh, interested in my possibilities of engineering, I guess. Engineering and medical field, right? Yes, sir. She might be the future designer of what is it, the, the, the Da Vinci? Robotics, surgery thing. She might be one day. We're looking for her for a loan uh, <laughs> to pay down the three thousand dollars to buy into the company. We're going to talk more with these uh, young folks. We're actually going to let them demonstrate the robot one more time. Talk about the number of pieces involved in it uh, after the break. But 